Hey, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. Art and I are with Manny Pacheco, our favorite Hollywood film historian. Manny, great to see you. Great to see you guys. How you doing, Art? Hey, Manny. Uh, by the way, uh, we're getting pretty close to TCM again this year, aren't we? Yes, Last year was really terrific. The three of us went there, and I don't. Um, I think our schedule don't work out for this year. But is uh, what's coming up this year? Well, I'll be able to head out there uh, on one of the days at least, and uh, it's April 13th through the 16th. It's uh, the annual spring event for TCM, and of course it brings out all of the uh, TCM uh, faithful, including the hosts, Ben Mankiewicz and, and, the, and the crew. Uh, and this year uh, they have, uh, I think, another great uh, slew of films, and of course uh, they've been concentrating a lot uh, on TCM about the behind-the-scenes stories uh, so they're going to bring in a lot of the behind-the-scenes filmmakers this year, which I think is wonderful. And the theme for this year's festival, you ain't seen nothing yet, celebrating film legacies. So <laughs> that's kind of cool. And, of course, this year more than ever, they're collaborating with Warner Brothers. So that's kind of a cool deal as well. Oh, that's good. They do such a, such a good job. And yeah. they have such a, a, broad, um, a broad selection of films. Mm -hmm. From silence to relatively modern films, right? Well, let's let's start with those Warner Brother films. I mean, because Warner Brothers is celebrating their cent you know centennial, mm -hmm. uh, so 100 years of Warner Brothers films, and they're going to headline it with the uh, anniversary of Casablanca. They're going to actually oh, that'll be great. It. Boy, I would love to go in and get into that, but I think that's going to be a standing room only moment, honestly. Uh, but some of the other great. Great Warner Brothers films. Uh, one of the films that hardly anyone ever talks about when it comes to James Dean, East of Eden. You know, yeah. Giants talked about a lot, and of course, uh, Rebel Without a Cause. But East of Eden is actually going to be a film, uh, a shown, screened. The Exorcist on the big screen. I've seen that on the big screen. No, thank you. But for those who love to be, you know, have frightened out with, you know, out of their socks, <laughs> that's the film. Uh, Bruce Lee's a seminal moment in Enter the Dragon. And, you know, there is a movie that they're going to show that I have to tell you never gets talked about. This is going to be my forgotten Hollywood moment. And that is very rarely you get a chance to see um, Edward G. Robinson in a comedy. Now, he, he did do comedies and he's quite funny. But in this particular case, this is one of those gangster films which just happens to be more lighthearted. And he gets to play, uh, uh, of course, a, uh, an ex-convict, and he were, and he's trying to open a store, and uh, but unfortunately, everybody wants to get him back into the uh, crime business. And the name of the movie came out in 1942. It's never really talked about, but I get a chance to watch it on TCM. It's just a, it's a hoot, and that's Larceny Inc. What a great film this is, and it's got all your favorite. Uh, you know, um, supporting players, a young Broderick Crawford, a Jane Wyman, Jack wow. Thompson. It's just, it's just a hoot. They're going to be showing Mr. Roberts, which is one of the no kidding. Brothers films. I just love uh, Josh Logan's Mr. Roberts. That was a wonderful and, film, yeah. Yes, and, and, and by the way, they're going to also do a celebration of the remakes of the Ocean's Eleven series, the Steve, uh, Steven Soderbergh. Ocean's Elevens. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and one more, one more, Rio Bravo. Oh. Great Warner Brothers film with, of course, uh, uh, John Wayne, Dean Martin, uh, uh, Ricky Nelson, Walter yep. Brennan, and in his very last uh, film appearance, uh, Ward Bond. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, yeah, uh, last, last year, um, we uh, 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 spoke, uh, you did an interview with Ben Mankiewicz uh, for Celebrating Act Two. And uh, just as an interesting side event, um, th this seems to be a, a year that he's actually uh, coming to more prominence. Uh, I've seen him in a two or three 60 Minutes interviews, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he does a, a pretty good job. That's, that's all I've got to say. Yeah, and, and, the, and the guests that they're going to have are going to be able to lend to all of what he does really well. They're going to be honoring uh, Russ Tamblin. Who now is in his mm. 80s? Of course, we all remember him as that mm. teenager who appeared in Seven Brides for Seven yeah. Brothers, and of course, West Side, West Side Story. Story. Yes. Yeah, he was wonderful in West Side Story, and of course, 
I can imagine the conversation that Mankiewicz is going to have with Anne Margaret. Oh, wow. <laughs> but as I mentioned, uh, there are, they are going to bring in some uh, behind the scenes directors, uh, some that are more recent. I, I did mention Steve Soderberg. He's going to be on hand. Um, one of my favorite director, uh, directors is going to be there. I hope I get a chance to meet him. Alexander Payne, and you'll know his work. He did he did a wonderful job on Nebraska yeah. and Sideways. Fabulous film about winemaking. So Alexander Payne, Steve Soderbergh, and of course, the uh, more traditional um, uh, directors, Lawrence Kasdan, who um, of course did The Big Chill, uh, uh, William Friedkin, who did, of course, The Exorcist. And uh, so they've, they've got really a, a slew of great directors that are going to be there. And, of course, the actors are going to be there, like Anne Margaret. Amy Irving is going to be there. The usual suspects. And when I say the usual suspects, last year we had George Stevens Jr. He's back. Leonard Malton, he's back. So, you know, it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. It's a, a chance to, to hobnob with the stars, watch great movies on the big screen. It's one thing to watch things on television, but, boy, when you get a chance to watch something on uh, on the big screen that you haven't seen before, yes, sure is a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, but I like you. I think I, I'm uh, okay to pass on The Exorcist because that's yeah. <laughs> that's one of the few films when I was growing up that scared the crap out of me. It scared me too. Now they're honoring, you know, with the with their uh, Robert Osborne Award this year to Donald Bogle, and you see him a lot on TCM. One of these wonderful authors and historians. He's yeah. uh, basically written very, very well about the black experience in film. And, and it, he's written about everybody from its origins with Noble Johnson and director Oscar Michaud to some of the great black early black stars like Paul Robeson, Hattie McDaniel, Eddie mm -hmm. Rochester Anderson, Louise Beavers. And of course, he moved on to great uh, crooners like Ethel Waters and Lena Horne. And of course, Dorothy Dandridge, Sidney Poitier, oh, yeah. and, and he's even written, you know, very eloquently about more recent uh, black filmmakers like Spike Lee, John Singleton. I mean, he really covers the real, real essence of the black experience. And of course, now they're going to honor him, and I think that's an excellent choice made by uh, by TCM. So ha yeah. happy to see that as well. Yeah, great. Uh, you know, it's a fascinating channel. And this film festival that they do every year is just wonderful, really. Absolutely. And they, they just support film and film history like nobody else. Now, if you were to ask me, and go right ahead if you'd like, which films am I looking forward to? Oh, okay. Which, which films which, are which, you looking which forward to? Which films are you looking forward to, Manny? I love the movie Airport, you know, the, the Dean Martin, Burt Lancaster, which really yeah. signaled the great uh, 70s, uh, you know, those those big tragedy films that they like to do, you know, those... And Airport was the first one. American Graffiti on the big screen, I think, would be no awesome. No kidding. That would be fun. That Absolutely. Fun. I, I think that would just be a wonderful. I'd love to see Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the original with Frederick March. I think that's wow. going to be a, a biggie as well. So, I mean, they've got some good good films that are coming up, and I'm I'm looking forward to them. I mean, um, I'm trying to think of one more. Oh, I, th I believe they're showing King Kong, the original. On the big screen. How how no kidding. fun is that? And with Fay Ray. Fay Ray, yeah, I was gonna say. With Fay Ray. And, and, and the Empire State Building. Yeah, of course. And if you like the silent films, you can't go wrong with the hunchback of Notre Dame with Lon oh. Chaney, the silent nineteen twenty three. No kidding. Wow. Uh so that's what a great lineup. Yeah, it's a great lineup of films. And I mean, it, the list just goes and they keep adding. I mean, they're not done. They've got another month to add add films. So yeah. I, you know, if you like Hitchcock, Shadow of a Doubt's wonderful. That that's going to be in there. Uh, I'm big fan uh, in the celebration of the Latino experience with the movie Stand and Deliver, mm, yeah. uh, which which is a great educational movie. It's about it's about this this teacher in East LA who who sure. rose to become a very popular teacher. Of course, science fiction on the big screen is always good. This is one of John's favorites is to watch science fiction when worlds collide this year, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> And if you like schlock, and I love schlock. Oh, good I schlock. Nothing like sitting, good schlock. Good city, sitting in the in, in the theater audience and watching Xanadu. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, I, uh, I always thought uh, that was, for me, that was better than Greece. Yes. 
<laughs> Up until well, Xanadu, I really liked Olivia Newton John. You know? Well, Gene Kelly appears in it, which no, is great. I thought it was a great movie. And and the music, the music, of course, by uh, Electric Light Orchestra, my absolute favorite uh, band of the 1970s. So mm. I don't think that that's, uh, I don't think it's a bad movie. And I, I saw it on the big screen a long time ago in Century City. So I'd go back and watch it again. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know, maybe we ought to go out on, on like a, a triple date and you and I can go see Xanadu and uh, John can go I see uh, Journey to the Moon. When worlds collide. When <laughs> worlds collide. Hey, listen, Manny, uh, we need to remind people that um, we have, what, a dozen videos from last year's TCM Festival. That's right. And uh, they're not really, they're not that specific about that particular year. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of generic, great interviews with the hosts, with some celebrities, with the fans. Um, so they're worth watching again and again. I think. By, by the way, just uh, for for the plug, it's got its own special playlist, so you can go and look at the playlist that has TCM. Right. I think it was twenty twenty two, whenever whatever that. It's got its own special playlist, and right. please, if you've enjoyed that, we don't ask you for money, although you could send money. Uh, please hit the <laughs> subscribe and the like buttons, like your hand was had right. like only 10 more things it could do in its life. And yeah, nothing will get you in the mood like watching these interviews that we did and, right. and, and the sights and the sounds of TCM. Sure. I'm with you. Let's go back. Let's reminisce. Let's get ready and get revved up for 2020, uh, 2023's uh, TCM classic yeah. film. So absolutely. And also, Manny, before we go, I want to hold you uh, to a commitment to come back and report to us about this year's TCM festival. Mm. I don't know. I mean, you don't have to give me money, but as Art said, if you want to, then I'll come <laughs> yeah. back. Okay. Well, by the way, uh, ju just why don't you hold on to this thought? The check is in the mail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Right on. <laughs> See you soon, Manny. You got it. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.